Yesterday on Fox 10 News, we told you about the Mobile County Public School System's way of alerting parents if an emergency occurs at your child's campus. Well, today we found out how the system actually works, who monitors it, and most importantly, who controls it. Fox 10 News reporter Michael Brannon live in the newsroom with those answers. Michael? Uh, Bob and Lanise, the school messenger system is used at all Mobile County Public Schools system-wide, and it is customizable as well. Only one person at any of these schools has access to it, and that is the principal. Ironically, it is the principal who decides whether a message can be sent out or not. Good morning. This is James Gale with the principal of Mary G. Montgomery High School. The purpose of this message is to inform you that an unloaded handgun was recovered without incident from a student's book bag. The student has been removed from campus. Principal James Gill at Mary G. Montgomery made that very phone call on Wednesday, reassuring parents everything was okay on campus. A week before, a loaded handgun was found on campus across town at BC Rain, but Principal Marin Furl did not alert parents. Why was the discovery of a weapon handled in two different ways? It is a discretionary call from the principals, and um, you know we we trust them to make those judgment calls. David Ackridge is the executive manager of information technology with the Mobile County Public School System. He tells me even though it's left up to the principals to make the final decisions, the truth prevails. I think a principal has to make a judgment call and say, I need to alert everybody of the truth. We wanted to know exactly how the system worked. Tracy Mathis is the telecommunications web manager. We have some schools that use it more than others. Yes, we do. Um, I would say that on an average, um, the schools use it at least four or five times a year. Then you have your high users that they use it every day. Every day with messages about attendance, lunch money, and reminders. But what about emergencies? Or even worse, a gun on campus. We don't get that really that many emergency calls. We uh, have parents that do enjoy getting the information. We have some that, you know, they would rather, you know, rather not have gotten the call. But it's our responsibility while we're entrusted with those children to make sure that as far as their education, their safety, and their security, that we communicate with parents that they're good. You, you really don't want parents to be desensitized by receiving uh, an emergency message every day for something. I mean, things happen at school, things that uh, principals can take care of and alleviate, and then there are things that you just need to let the community know. And some communities, um, some communities are, you know, they're different. We're, we're a vast district. and that I just can't help but put myself in a, in a position of a parent, you know, wanting to know if there's an emergency on campus and not being alerted. How would you respond to that? Well, I, I don't know that I can respond to that. We've re reached out repeatedly to the people who can answer that question. School board member for MGM's District 1, Douglas Harwell, and across town, BC Rains District 4 representative Tracy Roberson. Despite trying for the past two days, neither has responded uh, to us. Now, Ackridge did tell me, however, that the cost of the school messenger system is about $30,000 per year to ensure the, the student's safety. We will continue to follow this story for you and dig for more answers on this on Fox10TV.com and here on Fox 10 News. Reporting in the newsroom, Michael Brandon, Fox 10 News.